I'm wearing cut-off capri denims, which is like, what? We are getting the chance to recreate outfits from our youth. Oh my God, I know I begged my parents for those <laughs> shoes. It's okay, we were all very confused at that time. What would you tell your younger self? We're all about the self-love here, you guys, but we're also about the self-reflection, mm -hmm. okay? And it is perfectly okay to take a look back on pictures, videos from your youth and want to crawl into a ball and hide in a corner. They don't want to remember. So today is very exciting because we are getting the chance to redeem our young selves and recreate outfits from our youth. We're gonna be shopping to not necessarily like do a full on recreation. We really just wanna be inspired by what we were trying to go for, <laughs> I guess. So we really wanna just upgrade the look. I know who I am when it comes to my clothes now. Yes. And I just oh. didn't know who I was back then. I know myself pretty well. So we both picked out a photo of us when we were youngins. <laughs> and we are going to use that photo as inspiration to recreate these looks. And the crazy thing is, we'll pick outfits today that in 10, 20, 30 years, what if we look back and go, what were we thinking? My parents can look back and be like, yeah, we dressed really well. When we look back, we're like, what were we thinking? Which makes me feel like we actually had a bad decade. The youngins now try to make the early 2000s all cute. It wasn't like that. It was a trying time. It was a trying time for sure. You're in the wrong decade. I think it is time to introduce the photos that we have brought for you all today. And I have two words for you, statement necklace. I just want to give her a hug. Like she really thought she was doing something here. Like I took this in LA when I was visiting it with my parents. I was probably a freshman in high school, so at 14. The poof in the hair was all the rage. The blue beaded. And mind you, I knew I was visiting LA. So this was my like, I'm about to look like really famous, like outfit. I'm wearing just a little basic white tee and the Bermuda Capri. And I remember these flats so well. Well, they were from Old Navy. I have a little pink coach suede purse in this picture, which was all the rage. You look like an innocent little baby the, angel. You know, the way I was. And I want to hug you too. Me too. Is the hug plane coming in for a landing. My photo is not necessarily hysterical. I just think it really captures the confusion I felt when it came to fashion. I have a really long t-shirt. There's a tank top underneath it as well. And then I have those capri jeans, which we're both wearing and oh my God, why? Then I have a Juicy Couture zip hoodie. It's actually my sister's. And then I have black monogrammed coach sneakers, which <laughs> I think is the best choice I made in no, that outfit, to be honest with you. It's the Vera Bradley bag for me. And and it's not even a real Vera Bradley bag, you guys. And then I do have a poof separated by this freaking headband. In middle school, it was like a thing all of a sudden. I really think it was Liz McGuire who started wearing her hair in front of the headband. You'd put the headband like back here. So it wasn't really doing anything for your Lizzie hair. Lizzie had the crazy hair and we were all trying to do that like as if oh. it was normal. Thanks, I owe you. I straightened oh. my hair so hard because it wasn't as, as many products as there are today. I didn't understand my hair and I also didn't appreciate it. So, so when real. I look at this person, it makes me feel sad. Oh. Like it makes me feel sad for her because I was so lost. I feel like I was starting to, at this point, understand I don't like this stuff anymore. Yeah. So I know that I felt like conflicted. I didn't really develop my own style until my 20s, but it's funny because yeah. now yeah. I feel like the young people are actually the ones telling me how to dress. You girls keep me young. Oh, I love you so much. At this age, I definitely was trying to wear makeup, but it was like NYX liner that was always falling down my eyes, or like I really didn't understand foundation. It was always like L'Oreal True Matte mm -hmm. Mousse. Bronzer, eyeliner, MAC. MAC. <laughs> Only MAC. Brands were everything. Like the Vera Bradleys, the Dunia Burks, the Juicy Coutures. You were stylish if you were wearing brands. Even if like it didn't go, like if you had that cool piece, you felt good about yourself. The Hills was big, Lauren Conrad. Gossip Girl was a big deal as well. I really just remember copying Seventeen Magazine. That was like our TikTok. If I could describe my style in three phrases, it would have been Abercrombie & Fitch, Lauren Conrad, the OC. Like I was just trying to fit in, look like all those people. I would say basic brands and basic again. <laughs> yeah, basic. I'm wearing the things I like to wear. Jeans with a t-shirt and like a, sweat, a sweater, a sweater, a hoodie. That is still my go-to every single day. I just think I have a better idea of what goes with what now. Because I was still rocking a basic look, but it had some accessories, I think I just want to do the exact same amount of pieces, but just with the upgraded accessory version. Yeah. So instead of my stunning blue beaded necklace, maybe like a gold necklace choker and like gold hoops. Maybe the jean style would be different. I don't know if I'm gonna rock a capri pant. I'll try Please to, don't. now I'm gonna get capri. <laughs> Just to spite you. You brought this on yourself, son.
Oh, for mittens. I'll take these. This was not the assignment. All right, I present to you the new, updated, and improved Sinead. What's up, y'all? I'm here. <laughs> so I was like, all right, let's start with what I know first, which is obviously sneakers. Duh. In that photo, I'm wearing coach sneakers that I had for years. So I was like, how do I pay homage to that? What is like a super hyped up sneaker of today? Happens to be my favorite brand. It's Nike, obviously. So I got these so Air Force cool. Ones. They're actually men's sneakers. I just got them in my size, obviously. But I really like these, obviously. I keep saying obviously. I don't know why I keep saying obviously. Obviously. I definitely own multiple pairs of Air Force Ones, and it's just one of those shoes to me that will always be. Whereas Coach, I feel like, lived its day, and they are trying to make a comeback. I still really like Coach. It was the brand I felt like I had to have in order to fit in, which again is why that picture made me so sad, because I was like, oh my god, I know I begged my parents for those <laughs> shoes. So I was like, how do I pay homage to that? So I got this Coach fanny pack. So cute. And so I was like, I already knew that I was going to scrap the Vera Bradley and scrap the Coach shoes. So I was like, what is on my feet? What is on my arm? Take that off. I am wearing essentially what I wear now in that outfit. Yeah, this is like a youth look. A denim, a t-shirt, and a zip up. The difference is I'm wearing cut off capri denims, which is like, <laughs> what? So I was like, what do I like? That's kind of in that same vein. I love, love, love a, like a dad short like this. Yeah. This is the perfect happy medium to the capri I and agree. the short short. If you love something or it like works for your vibe or your style, anybody can make anything look cool. And I think that's the best part about 2023. What a year. I am no longer ever trying to cover up anything, right? Woo, take <laughs> it off. I went with a Skims high neck. It's like a crop shirt, Show how, Let it have its moment, because it's so cute. It's, Look how cute. The cut is so great. I love it. It's like a muscle tank feel. Mm -hmm. Sexy, but edgy, and I like that. It's I a good wanted, length. Yeah, because these shorts are yeah. super high-waisted, which just didn't exist back then. Yeah. You know, you weren't finding high-waisted stuff, so oh, that wasn't ever really... Totally. The last thing I'm wearing in that outfit is a Juicy Couture Velour zip-up, which, like, fine. I was like, okay, let's get something a little bit oversized yeah. that speaks more to my style. I got this fleece button-up from... Aritzia. It's obviously super soft. Yeah, it's because really cute. It's from Aritzia. Oh, cute. I know. But really yeah, cute. no, and I like the button up and I like the color and it just kind of all works together. Yeah. The difference between shopping back then and shopping now, like we were not online shopping. Like right. you had to go into a store, especially being young, to shop. And that is why everybody looked the same. Because what was on the shelf is what people were buying and it was celebrity lookalikes. Sinead, mm -hmm. I mean, you look amazing. You're Thanks. very on trend for Thank 2023. You. What do you want to tell your younger self? I would just tell myself to just relax and just like accept who you are and nothing has changed. I still feel the hottest when I'm the comfiest and I did back then too and that's okay and I wish I could just be like, it's okay to just like feel comfy. You don't yeah. have to look like everybody else. Probably the best advice you ever gave me. From statement necklaces to just a statement outfit, here is a new and improved Miss Madeline. Um, thank you so much, Sinead. Love that for me. I as well was wearing some capri slash gaucho pants, which it's okay. We were all very confused at that time. So I was like, okay, well, what's my go-to grab jean these days? It's usually like a slouchy dad jean, like a light wash. Saw these at Aritzia. They're a Levi's baggy dad jean. I feel really cute and like of the times right now in these. And then I'm wearing a white t-shirt in that photo. I need mm -hmm. to get like, not just any white t-shirt, but like the stretchy cool girl white t-shirt. So we went to Aritzia and I saw this white tight t-shirt. Yeah. I did pair it with this underneath Skims nude bra, which unfortunately is showing more than I wanted to, but I also don't think that that's that big of a deal. Like no. throw on a slouchy jean and a white tee and act like you just didn't try that hard. That's like the current way right. to do the everyday look. Mm -hmm. Shoes, I was really killing it in that picture with those old navy flats. And I was thinking, well, what's like the current day go-to shoe? It's an Ugg or a Fug. I got my fake Fugs from Amazon. Mm -hmm. I also paired it with my little slouchy Amazon socks. I feel like this kind of look is so in and just yeah. like cool, easy. I think that's the thing nowadays is like you do want to look like you didn't try. I woke up like this. So the other big statement moment in that picture was my blue beaded statement necklace. So this time I went the gold necklace route. I did this like layered necklace from Free People. This is the look. Like this is something I would go to now. It's like this kind of layered gold chunky moment. Right. Similar to you, Sinead, I had a pink suede coach purse. Now it's almost like no one really cares about brand names like that. So what did I do? I got this cute little Amazon black mini purse. Love it. I had to tie the whole look together. So I stopped at MAC 
and nice. I got the OG lip gloss. I remember all the girls on Laguna Beach had it. It's MAC Oyster Girl Lip Gloss. It literally gives you like a nude lip beyond. It made me look, I thought, older. Well, I love this outfit, truly. <laughs> it feels good and you're like confident in it. You look yeah. great. Thanks. Same necklace and all, what would you tell your younger self? I seriously would not tell my younger self to change anything she's doing. I feel like she's trying her best. She's like really just trying to be a good person, but be cute and be well liked and fit in. Maybe there's a, an element of me now that's like trying to do the same thing. Like I like to fit in. I like to see what the trends are and kind of like copy, but now I'm making them my own mm -hmm. and I'm not like feeling as pressured. I'm just sort of enjoying it. So right. I, I don't want to tell her to change anything. She was so sweet and innocent. And she was and I love hilarious. Her. We have to put that video of me where I'm singing Flashing and dancing. The camera. Yeah, have you seen that? You Nothing stopping me. Oh, but you don't hear me though. So now it's time to show in the room that can be. So from my head to show my mind and soul, I'm capable of this time.